Meanwhile, here in Virginia's capital, peaceful protests are wrapped up so far. There was the potential threat for violence at state capitals all across the country. And 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell shows us the difference in this year's Lobby Day. Lobby Day still brought people from all across the Commonwealth to the Capitol this year, but on a much smaller scale than we've seen in the past. COVID and security concerns kept a lot of people at home, and law enforcement kept Capitol Square shut down. Anytime we see First Amendment rights being stepped on, we'll use our Second Amendment rights. Gun rights advocates in Richmond Monday proving a pandemic wasn't going to stop them from making their voices heard. That includes a travel nurse we spoke with who wasn't wearing a mask. And I took off the month of January to be here in the middle of a pandemic to fight for our rights. Many were carrying weapons despite the city banning firearms in certain areas. We pretty much don't let them scare us out of doing what we like to do. So and anywhere rights are being infringed, any group that's rights are being infringed will defend them. The strongest showing Monday came from the Virginia Citizens Defense League, organizing a caravan that brought people from all over the Commonwealth to fight against gun control from their cars. We cannot lose that right to self-defense. That's what one of the key cornerstones of this country that life matters and they do have a right to protect it. A small group of Black Lives Matter protesters also walked around downtown Richmond armed and gathered at the Robert E. Lee Monument. Despite fears of violence, everything remained peaceful. Protesters sending a clear message to lawmakers. And I'm here exercising my First Amendment right, which is also under attack, so that we can defend our second. Threats of possible violence remain through Inauguration Day on Wednesday. The Capitol Square complex here will remain closed through Thursday. In Richmond, I'm Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.